Okay, folks, so today I'm going to be making a homemade vegan chimichurri sauce to go over my vegan portobello steaks. Okay, so here you have um, half parsley, half, and I just use flat leaf parsley, Italian flat parsley, and half cilantro because I'm not too keen on the taste of, um, you know, of parsley. But, um, you know, you need that nice greenery, and that is making it more authentic. You don't want to put this in a food processor because you, this is a sauce that's sort of textured. So you're going to chop all of this up. You hear that because I'm also boiling some potatoes because I'm also making... Um, parsley mashed potatoes. Fun fact. The vegan version, of course. But first, I've got to chop up all of these. So I'm going to get this chopped up, and then I'm going to uh, talk to you guys soon. Okay, so now we have our diced cilantro and parsley mixed, along with some red onion. I'm probably not going to use all of these onions. Um because the recipe did call for shallots the one that i looked at but i just had red onion, red onion so i was just gonna make it work okay so here's our next so here. don't add as much oregano as bacon. i've just added here i was clearly on one and uh you know some crushed red pepper um i like my stuff a little bit spicy so there's about as much as I'm putting in. I'm also going to put some garlic. Most people put fresh garlic. Um, I just don't have fresh garlic. So let me get this thingy thing thing together. Most people use fresh garlic. I don't have fresh garlic. So give me I'm just gonna use some garlic powder. Maybe a little bit more. Um, Next, I'm going to put in some salt and pepper, and I'm just guessing, um, this isn't coming out, but I'm just going to guess about how much to put in. Uh, it's hard because this isn't really coming out, but I'm just going to... First of all, there's not even a lot of salt. Judge your mother. Thanks. I'm going to put pepper. And then I'm going to put... Some um, EVOO. Should be enough. I'm going to put some red wine vinegar. Well, this is my first time making this, but um, I'm assuming it's going to be good. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the sauce. Um, I'm going to use some grommets because I always saw my mom using this. And then I'm going to use some Mrs. Dash because, again, I always saw my mother using this. Um, and then I'm going to put a little bit of this, you know, soy, soy sauce, and a little bit of olive oil. And I'll be right back. For just $2 a day, you can get me a baster. And I will have to use the struggle spoon. I um I have two of the portobello caps and I'm spreading this mixture on it. I um I washed it thoroughly just with a wet paper towel. I just wiped off my cap on the outside and then on the inside. Again, put some of that in there and I took off some of the, the like stem in the middle. So that it will just be easier, kind of make it easier for me to um, cook it. So now that my steaks are all seasoned, I also added a bit of the diced um, red pepper that I had from earlier that I didn't use in the sauce. 
I also added on top of this just some ground ginger and some oregano because that wasn't in my original mixture. Um, and then I put a splash of um, olive oil just to coat the bottom of the pan. And um, I'm letting my pan heat up and then I'm going to cook this and I will show you how I cook this. Okay, so I'm going to cook this two to three minutes on each side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clean pan, I just clean the bottom of this, and I'm going to press it um, so that it's um, grilling and I'm pressing it down. And I'm going to make sure you put the, um, the gills, this in the pan, gills facing down, gills side facing down, just because like these will emit a lot of water, like you can already see the water from the oven. And if you were to do it reversely, so now you're going to use a pan to press down on the mushroom so that you're getting rid of the moisture so it'll have a meatier texture. So I did two minutes on one side and now I'm flipping to the other side. Okay, so now we have a final product. I made some mashed potatoes and with the leftover um, like mushroom caps, I made a gravy. And um, these are just parsley mashed potatoes, nothing fancy. And then this is my steak. Alright, thanks guys for watching. I'm gonna dive into this. Thank you. Thank you. Just two cents a day, folks.